Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In today's video, we will talk about how to evaluate algebra expressions, like this example. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here is that we are given the direction, evaluate the following. These examples are examples of algebra expressions under the basic algebra. So what does it mean to evaluate a given expression. Given this expression 3x squared plus 5y minus 2xy and this one, we will evaluate them given the specific values of the variable x and y involved this, in this expression. So what we need to do is to substitute these values in this given expression and then we will evaluate it performing the different operations. Let's try number one. What we have here is 3x squared plus 5y minus 2xy, and we are given x is equal to 2, here y is equal to 4. As you can see, in this expression, we have x and x, wherein we will plug in this variable, this number 2, in this variable x. So let's go ahead. We have 3, and then this one is x squared. We will put a parenthesis here, times... We will replace x by 2, again x by 2, and then squared, plus, for this expression, or for this term, we have 5y, that is 5, and since this one is 5y, it indicates multiplication. We will replace y by 4, because y is equal to 4, that is 5 times 4. And as for this expression, we have negative 2. This is x times, replace it by 2, times 2. And then we have here the variable y, replace it by 4. And as you can see, we already substituted the values of x and y, and all we need to do is to perform the operations. Here, on this part, we will copy first 3, because we will evaluate 2 squared. 2 squared is the same as 2 times 2, so that is 4. And this one, plus 5 times 4, that is 20. And here we have three numbers, negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, times 4, that is negative 16. Again, negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, times 4 is negative 16. So we will simplify this one. 3 times 4 is 12. And what we have here is 20 minus 16. That is 4. So we have here plus 4. And all we need to do is to add 12 and 4. 12 plus 4 is 16. And this is now the evaluated answer of 3x squared plus 5y minus 2xy. So let's continue with number 2. In number 2, we have 2 minus 2x plus y. Your x is equal to 3, so meaning we will replace this by 3. Your y is 5. We will replace this by 5. So let's get started. We have here 3 to replace x minus 2 times 3 plus. Your y is 5, this is 5. This is 3, negative 2 times 3 is negative 6, then plus 5. Simplify this, 3 minus 6 is negative 3 plus 5. Add them, negative 3 plus 5 is simply 2. And this is now the evaluated form of item number 2. Now let's try more complicated examples like this. And this time, it involves three variables. For these examples, number three and number four, we will be using x is equal to two, y is equal to three, and z is equal to negative one. In number three, x cubed plus four y minus z. So let's start simplifying this one and evaluate. This is x, replace it by two, that is 2 cube. 
plus 4 replace y by 3 times 3 minus this is originally subtraction minus and your z is negative you will put here parentheses that indicates we need to multiply the signs simplify this part 2 cubed is the same as 2 times 2 times 2 that is 8 plus 4 times 3 is 12 the negative times negative is positive that is plus 1 add them all 8 plus 12 plus 1 this is equal to 21 and now this is the answer so what we have here is the last number it seems difficult but trust me kaya natin to we have 3 x cube y square z cube plus x over x plus y plus z let's start we have here 3 x cube your x is 2 that is times 2 don't forget the cube for the y variable we have here y your y is 3 so parentheses 3 then squared for the z variable we have here parentheses negative 1 cube plus your x is 2 this is plus 2 over replace them x plus y plus z that is 2 plus 3 minus or plus negative 1 simplify the numerator first we have 3 this 2 cube is 8 so times 8 3 squared is 9 so times 9 and then negative 1 raised to cube since the exponent is odd and the base is negative so the answer is negative 1 then plus 2 over 2 plus 3 plus negative 1 is 4 so to get the answer we need to add uh, we need to multiply these numbers 3 times 8 times 9 times negative 1 is negative 216 then plus 2 over 4 let's simplify this negative 2 116 plus 2 that is negative 214 over 4 this fraction can be simplified or this is negative 107 over 2 this is the answer or the evaluated form of this expression so I hope guys you learned something from this video and as part of our routine, I will give you the fifth example which we're going to evaluate. You have xy plus 2y squared plus z using the same values for x, y, and z. And I hope na makita natin siya sa ating comment section. So guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!